हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द चैप्टर फाइव ऑफ फाइव जी एन आर फिजिकल लेयर कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डी एफ टी स्प्रेड ओ एफ डी एम टेक्निक दिस टेक्निक इज यूज इन अपलिंक लाइक ओ एफ डी एम इज यूज इन डाउनलिंक सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल बेसिकली अंडरस्टैंड द मोटिवेशन ऑफ यूजिंग डी एफ टी एस ओ एफ डी एम इन अपलिंक so we will basically we will answer two questions why and how yeah so ofdm is used in downlink while dfts ofdm is used in uplink the reason being papr which is introduced by ofdm the this papr that is peak to average power ratio is the main bottleneck uh, in ofdm systems there are so many techniques of mitigating the papr but the famous being are using larger power budget so the technique can be easily deployed in downlink while not in uplink very easily as the uplink has to be power efficient um so to understand this uh, let's say the downlink uh, the transmitter is base station there is no power scarcity there but in uplink the transmitter is the is your ue Uh, so to make ue more battery efficient we can't use much of the power budget there okay so papr here the peak power is proportional to the i50 length we all know that there is an i50 block in the ofdm chain so uh, if the i50 length is n then peak power is proportional to the length m if the ift ift length is n uh therefore uh, you know, what we can do to uh, reduce this uh, value of m we can introduce a dft block uh, which is the inverse of i50 uh, which can cancel out the effect of i50 and hence the surge in peak power now you might be thinking that uh, the combined system will be equivalent to a single carrier system so there is no uh, then why uh, we are doing all this processing first dft and and then ift Uh, where in the end we will just get a single carrier system so the answer to this question is both yes as well as no why because it depends on the relative length of dft and i50 so what do we mean here by relative length so let's say uh, the dft length is k and i50 length is m okay so if k is equal to m then obviously it will be equivalent to a single carrier system but what in our wireless technologies that is 5g nr and in lte what we do that we always keep this k less than m always keep this thing in mind yeah so um, following these techniques or following this way Uh, this system takes advantage of both single carrier systems that is no or less papr as well as ofdm system which is lesser isi lesser or no isi yeah so if we look on the ofdm transmitter chain so basically uh, just focus on this i50 block here uh, so this i50 length is proportional to the peak power of the ofdm output so let's understand what changes are there in the dfts uh, ofdm transmitter chain uh, in comparison to ofdm transmitter chain okay so this is a ofdm dfts ofdm transmitter chain here we can see there is an i50 block which is similar to as ofdm system or ofdm transmitter chain the two new blocks in comparison to the ofdm transmitter chain are these so which is dft block and sub carrier allocation block so um, here it is evident that uh, we are the lengths of dft and ift are different so in principle this k is less than m here where k is the dft length and m is the ift length okay so this sub carrier allocation is uh, this block what this block is doing that the dft output is of length k 
while the IFT input is of length m. So uh, understand uh, this in such a way that uh, now here there are k subcarriers. Here there should be m subcarriers. So the rest of them are allocated in such a way that they are either zero padded or some type of mapping is happening here. So this is nothing but only the mapping part. This is kind of a subcarrier mapper. Mapping. So the main difference in DFTS, OFDM transmitter and OFDM transmitter are these two blocks. Keep always keep in mind that this K is always less than M. Uh, only in this way we can take advantage of uh, the single carrier uh, systems which has no uh, PAPR or very less PAPR as well as the OFDM. We can take advantage of OFDM also which is lesser ISI or no ISI. Uh, guys you can post your queries or questions whatever you have in the comment section and uh, you can share this video with your friends or colleagues uh, to increase the knowledge about 5G. Thanks.